what happened on uh, 1784 uh, february 23 exactly and it was a wednesday that day his soldiers attacked our community <clears throat> and that was a ash wednesday ash wednesday is the first day of our lent season you might have heard there is uh, you know 40 days of fasting uh, yes. and after and uh, it ends with the good friday the death of jesus so it starts with ash wednesday on ash wednesday he attacked on our community and uh, that was the day of fasting and prayer and people uh, are, uh, it's compulsory to visit the ch churches so people visited churches on uh, wednesday there he caught hold of the people right from sunkeri of karwar up to mangalore there were about 27 churches big churches out of them he attacked all all means all did not spare a single one. 25 he managed to raise, uh, raise to the ground and two he could not raise to the ground because local Hindus protected it. One is in my own place, my own native place where I stay even today where, where I am born and staying today, Aikala village. My church could not be raised to the ground, only the, um, the roofing was damaged. Local Hindus, three uh, village, uh, Aikala, Thalipadi and uh, Yelinje, these three village uh, heads came to our rescue, they gathered people, they stopped the soldiers from destruction of the church and thus uh, our church was saved and we are honoring those Hindus even today during the annual festival, every year we do that. And one church near Modibidri that was saved by Jains, they saved the church and rest all 25 churches were raised to the ground and one famous church of Milagres church in Mangalore, he destroyed and with those churches he built a mosque and that mosque is existing right today. today. Even on the, you know, it's called Bauta Wood, right in front of Elosius College, there is a mosque yes. which is which has been built with the stones of uh, Milagres Church. And there is Sultan Bhattiri. You might have heard the you know famous uh, his fort called Sultan Bhattiri was built with the stones of Rosario Church. Rosario Cathedral is the biggest church in Mangalore, even today. Okay. That church was destroyed, and with those stones, uh, Sultan Bhattiri was built. 